I think there's a couple reasons why I wanted to make this video. The first being is that I just really like finding stuff, especially free stuff. And the second reason I think is that I really miss making things. And not just videos and photos, which is what I usually do for work, but actually making something tangible that I can hold and see and use for years to come. It's honestly fascinated me that I could build something entirely from scavenging. Our coastlines here in British Columbia are littered with driftwood. Some locals even call it the lumberyard. Honestly, the most exciting thing might be the search. And so the first thing I did before setting off was to create a map of all the beaches where I live. Setting off on this project, I didn't really know what I'd be building. I depended what I could find on the beach. And so rather than having a strict plan that would require specific wood, I just let the driftwood guide me. Of course around here, there's a lot more wood than what I picked up. But I only picked milled lumber because, well, I don't know how to mill it myself. And also I was just curious to see what I could find just sitting there, ready to use. Second beach, going to Deep Bay. single piece of good driftwood here, but who cares? best haul yet. Look at all that lovely stuff. Got a bag full, these little bits. Oh geez, all right, here we go. Last trip. Take this ugly sea dog. Let's see what we can do with it. All right, there we go. Perfectly good board now. So here are the all the nasty offcuts. Everything that's been broken, beat up on the beach, and pretty satisfying cutting all that off, getting all these clean, usable edges. We're building something. I think that's pretty cool. At that point in the build, I had a really good selection of lumber, and it was clear. I knew exactly what I should do with it. So there's two sides of the frame that's gone on, it's starting to come together. Honestly, the most stressful part of this film, if you can even call it stress, uh, was putting the first screw in. Uh, all this work, collecting, cutting and planning was all finally coming together. And I was really hoping that it would be right. 
Oh my god, that is dirty. <laughs> That's looking great. Now we get to choose some legs, cut them down, bolt them in. Three more legs. I think it's pretty cool knowing that I saved some junk wood for something I'll enjoy and actually use and it'll make me happy looking at it. And of course, the whole process was tons of fun as well.